A new laboratory has been opened by the genetics department at Iowa State College for further study into nuclear irradiation and its effects on plants, animals, and humans. Heading the experimental program for many years is Dr. John W. Gowen, head of the genetics department, assisted by Professor Janice Stadler. Experiments here are accomplished with mice, and in the study of radiation, they act as stand-ins for humans. Dr. Gowen, what new information do you hope to find with the use of this new equipment in your new laboratories? In the uh, past 60 years, man like uh, a genii has uh, released uh, nuclear energy on uh, this earth without uh, much uh, uh, knowledge of how to control the same once it is released. The uh, work in the, uh, of this laboratory and others engaged in studying the effects of radiant energy on living materials is to obtain information which will enable us to control uh, this energy to our own uh, uses. Is this uh, laboratory of yours here the newest one in existence right now? Or? Well, the laboratory is built uh, to our own design and for the purposes of our experiments. There are many other laboratories. They, too, have been built according to the designs of the workers who, who uh, operate them. Insofar as our type of work is concerned, we could say it was the newest laboratory of uh, this sort. Dr. Gowen, what is this room good for? What room is this? This room is made to simulate a village or city uh, of uh, living things, people, uh, where the uh, uh, city is exposed to the effects of nuclear energy, and the population in the city have to live with that nuclear energy. Uh, for some period in their lives. What are these rods coming out of the floor then? They these rods contain the nuclear material uh, which uh, generates the energy and uh, from the uh, source in the rods, this energy traverses throughout uh, the whole uh, city population. Just, Dr. Gowan, is there much danger to people doing work in here since there is radioactivity present? Yes. But if the safeguards are observed, the uh, danger is relatively slight. Such as utilizing the cement wall we have that right here. That is correct. Here. Is any of your work classified as secret? No, but it must be remembered that we are all living under the conditions prescribed by the Atomic Energy Acts. But it's not so that people couldn't come in and look around. That is correct. Well. Who ultimately will use, will utilize the information that you gain in radiation here? This is a very broad question. Agriculture certainly will, because agriculture is uh, our most advanced life science. Uh, in view of the fact that we are all likely to be exposed to uh, radiant energy more and more as the uh, future goes on, I think that uh, the uh, answer is that everyone will benefit by the results that uh, come from this work. God has been good to us. God has been exceptionally good to the people in the state of Iowa and to the nation. We are in a period an era of peace, and I think we should humbly thank him for this. We have been blessed in many ways in the past season. Our production, speaking agriculturally, has been marvelous. We have had one of our largest crops of all of those things which Iowa produces, those things that are needed for the people of the nation. We should not be satisfied, of course, with just uh, things to eat and things to wear for the present, but we can be thankful that we have a great measure of security here in Iowa. We have all of those things that we need for protection for our people, for the, the protection of their liberties, for their security. I would say that there is 
probably one blot upon our uh, happiness, one blot upon our state, and that is the uh, question of of uh, accidents on our highways. I bow my head with sorrow when I think of all of those who have needlessly lost their lives this season. May God help us to help ourselves to save ourselves from these catastrophes. As I think of the coming year, the ninth year of 1955, I wish to you, every citizen of the state of Iowa, the best. I wish you prosperity, I wish you happiness, and I wish you security.